you said we need a um, a constitutional caucus, not a Tea Party caucus. Explain. What are you thinking? Well, this, this is a little bit broader of a caucus. It would be called the Constitutional Conservative Caucus. And the purpose is to bring all of these wonderful new people in that just ran for office, that have the pulse of the American people, and bring them in because quite quickly, within a matter of two months, people can be co-opted into the Washington system, and it's very easy to lose your way. So we want to bring together in a group so that every week we're studying the Constitution, the Declaration, the Bill of Rights. I want to invite in our Supreme Court justices, Roberts, um, Alito, Scalia, Thomas, the teachers, with other legal experts to come in who understand our national nation's founding documents. David Barton would have a lot to say about that as well. Bring them in, and every week, the hour before we take our first vote, have our weekly class so that we're reminded of our constitutional jurisdictional limits, and then we can be a very powerful group. Because how, many do you need to, how many do you need to cobble together to be able, because this is what the Progressive Caucus has done. They have they have uh, cobbled together um, power and they don't move and they move together. That's right, and, and that's why if enough of us can stick together, maybe even twenty to twenty five, we can stop any bill from passing. We need two hundred eighteen votes to pass the bill, and Republicans have now more than two hundred eighteen. But if you have a very small group of members, twenty to twenty five members, if we can hang together. And if an unconstitutional bill comes before us, something like a stimulus or a government takeover of health care, we can stop that bill. So this is a very powerful, influential group of people. And that's why I just want to encourage all of your listeners to contact your new member of Congress or your existing member of Congress. Encourage them to become a member of the Constitutional Conservative Caucus. You can go to my Facebook site if you want to. We'll have information on these new classes every week. And I just encourage them, you need to get into a habit. When you get into Congress, you have so many opportunities of meetings that you go to. You need to pick a few and go to them and to encourage your member early on to become a member of the Constitutional Conservative Caucus because then they'll have a group of people they can hang with and stay solid with so we can encourage each other based upon our nation's founding principles. As a listener, I want you to understand Mr. Smith Goes to Washington is about to happen. I want you to go back and watch that movie. It is about to happen. And the only thing that will save it, the only thing that will save this movement is if they are not co-opted. And I, Michelle Bachman is the real deal. And there, I don't say that lightly. I don't think I, Michelle, I bet there's, there's less than a handful of people, less than people I can count on, on five fingers that I would say that about. Michelle Bachman is the real deal. This is her caucus. I urge you to call your new members of Congress and tell them, please, please, I beg of you, get into this caucus. Michelle has uh, the right idea on this. And if we can get them and we can hold on to them and they don't lose their soul and they tie themselves to the Constitution and to each other, they won't be lost. 